The city sprawled before Bobby Butcher like a labyrinth of steel and concrete, its streets teeming with life even as the shadows lengthened with the setting sun. Exhausted from a day of toil at the factory, Bobby trudged homeward, his shoulders slumped with the weight of his burdens. But fate had other plans for Bobby that evening. As he turned a corner, the soft glow of a street lamp illuminated a scene that would etch itself into his memory for years to come. There, on the cold pavement, sat a figure shrouded in darkness, her form huddled against the biting chill of the night. Bobby approached her cautiously, his heart pounding in his chest. Hey there, are you okay? He ventured, his voice a whisper against the cacophony of the city. The girl lifted her head, her eyes wide with fear, yet something in Bobby's gentle demeanor seemed to ease her apprehension. I, I don't know, she admitted, her voice barely a whisper in the stillness of the night. I'm lost, and I don't know where to go. Bobby's heart went out to her, his compassion stirring deep within his chest. Don't worry, we'll figure it out together, he assured her, extending a hand to help her rise. As she stood, Bobby caught a glimpse of her face, illuminated by the soft glow of the street lamp. She was young, no more than a teenager, yet her eyes held a wisdom far beyond her years. Her clothes were threadbare, her hair matted and unkempt, yet there was a resilience in her demeanor that spoke of untold strength. What's your name? Bobby asked gently, hoping to break the tension that hung in the air like a heavy fall. Annabel, she replied, her voice barely audible above the din of the city. What's yours? Bobby, he replied with a smile, relieved to see a flicker of warmth in her eyes. It's nice to meet you, Annabel. And so, with a newfound sense of purpose, Bobby and Annabel embarked on a journey that would change both of their lives forever. Little did they know, their encounter on that fateful night would set into motion a chain of events that would defy all expectations and lead them down a path fraught with danger and intrigue. The next day dawned bright and clear, the sun casting its warm rays over the bustling city streets as Bobby and Annabel set out in search of answers. With each step they took, their bond grew stronger, their shared determination driving them forward in their quest to uncover the truth. As they wandered the streets, Bobby couldn't shake the feeling of unease that gnawed at his insides. Annabel's story weighed heavily on his mind, her plight a stark reminder of the injustices that lurked in the shadows of society. We'll find your dad, Annabel, Bobby reassured her, his voice filled with conviction, no matter what it takes. Annabel nodded, her eyes shining with gratitude. Thank you, Bobby, she replied softly. I don't know what I would do without you. Together, they pressed on, their determination unwavering in the face of adversity. And just when it seemed that all hope was lost, a ray of light pierced the darkness, illuminating their path with newfound hope. I think I know where we can start looking, Bobby said, a spark of excitement igniting within him. There's a construction company not far from here. Your dad might work there. Annabel's eyes widened in surprise, a glimmer of hope flickering to life within her. Do you really think so? She asked eagerly, her voice tinged with anticipation. Bobby nodded, his resolve firm. It's worth a shot, he replied, his voice tinged with determination. Let's go find him, Annabel, together. And so, with their hearts set on their goal, Bobby and Annabel set out once more, their spirits lifted by the promise of a brighter tomorrow. Little did they know, their journey was far from over, and the challenges that lay ahead would test their resolve in ways they never could have imagined. The morning sun cast its golden rays over the city, bathing the streets in a warm glow as Bobby and Annabel made their way to the factory where Bobby worked. Despite the early hour, a sense of unease hung heavy in the air, their minds still reeling from the events of the previous night. As they approached the factory grounds, Bobby and Annabel were met with whispers and sidelong glances from Bobby's colleagues, a sense of tension palpable in the air. Ignoring the prickle of apprehension that danced along his spine, Bobby led Annabel to his workstation, hoping to shield her from the storm that was brewing. But fate had other plans for Bobby that day. Summoned to the manager's office without warning, Bobby found himself standing before the imposing figure of Mr. Smith, his heart pounding in his chest as he braced himself for what was to come. Mr. Butcher, Mr. Smith began, his voice cold and unforgiving. I'm afraid I have some bad news. 
Bobby's stomach dropped at the ominous tone in Mr. Smith's voice, his mind racing with fear and uncertainty. What is it, sir? He asked, his voice barely a whisper against the silence of the room. Mr. Smith fixed Bobby with a steely gaze, his eyes cold and unyielding. It has come to my attention that you have been associating with unsavory characters, he declared, his words like a dagger to Bobby's heart. I'm afraid we can no longer have someone like you working for us. Bobby's world spun out of control as Mr. Smith's accusations washed over him, his mind reeling with disbelief. But sir, I haven't done anything wrong, he protested, his voice tinged with desperation. Mr. Smith's lip curled into a cruel smirk, his eyes gleaming with malice. That's what they all say, Mr. Butcher, he replied dismissively. But the evidence speaks for itself. Consider this your official termination notice. And with those words, Bobby's world came crashing down around him, his dreams of a brighter future shattered in an instant. Little did he know, this was only the beginning of a nightmare from which he could not escape. As Bobby staggered out of the factory, his world crumbling around him, Annabel stood by his side, her presence a beacon of hope in the darkness that threatened to consume him. Together, they wandered the city streets, lost in a haze of disbelief and despair, their minds racing with unanswered questions. Why would they do this to you, Bobby? Annabel asked, her voice thick with emotion as she clung to his arm for support. It's not fair. Bobby shook his head, his heart heavy with sorrow. I don't know, Annabel, he admitted, his voice barely a whisper in the stillness of the night. But I won't let them get away with this. I'll clear my name, no matter what it takes. Determined to uncover the truth, Bobby and Annabel set out to unravel the mystery that had engulfed them, their minds ablaze with the need for justice. With each passing moment, their resolve grew stronger, their determination unyielding in the face of adversity. And just when it seemed that all hope was lost, a twist of fate intervened, leading them down a path they never could have imagined. As they wandered the streets, lost in thought, they stumbled upon a group of shadowy figures lurking in the shadows, their presence ominous and foreboding. Bobby's heart raced as he recognized the faces of the men before him, their eyes gleaming with malice as they advanced upon him. What do you want? He demanded, his voice trembling with fear and uncertainty. The leader of the group stepped forward, a sinister smile playing at the corners of his lips. We heard about what happened at the factory, Butcher, he sneered, his voice dripping with disdain. And we're here to offer you a way out. Bobby's blood ran cold at the implication of the man's words, his mind reeling with disbelief. What do you mean? He asked, his voice barely a whisper against the darkness of the night. The leader's smile widened, his eyes gleaming with malice. We have connections, Butcher, he replied cryptically. Connections that could make all your problems disappear. All you have to do is say the word. But Bobby knew better than to trust the promises of men like these, their intentions as murky as the depths of the ocean. With a steely resolve, he turned his back on the shadows that threatened to engulf him, his determination unwavering in the face of temptation. I don't need your help, he declared firmly, his voice ringing out with conviction. I'll find a way to clear my name on my own. And when I do, you'll regret ever crossing me. And with that, Bobby and Annabel turned their backs on the darkness that lurked in the shadows, their hearts filled with a renewed sense of purpose and determination. Little did they know, their journey was far from over, and the challenges that lay ahead would test their resolve in ways they never could have imagined. As Bobby and Annabel wandered the city streets, their minds ablaze with the need for justice, a plan began to take shape in the depths of their minds. With each passing moment, their resolve grew stronger, their determination unyielding in the face of adversity. We need to find evidence to clear your name, Bobby, Annabel declared, her voice tinged with determination. And I think I know just how to do it. Bobby's eyes widened in surprise at Annabel's words, a spark of hope igniting within him. What do you have in mind? He asked eagerly, his heart pounding in his chest. Annabel's lips curled into a mischievous smile, her eyes gleaming with mischief. We'll need to do some digging, she replied cryptically. But I have a few contacts who might be able to help us out. With Annabel's guidance, Bobby and Annabel set out to uncover the truth that had eluded them for so long, their minds sharp and their determination unyielding. With each lead they followed, their resolve grew stronger, 
their bond deepening with each passing moment. And just when it seemed that all hope was lost, a breakthrough occurred, leading them down a path that would change their lives forever. As they delved deeper into the shadows that lurked in the city's underbelly, they stumbled upon a clue that would unravel the mystery that had engulfed them. Bobby's heart raced as he examined the evidence before him, his mind ablaze with the possibilities that lay ahead. This is it, Annabelle, he declared, his voice tinged with excitement. With this, we can clear my name once and for all. Annabelle nodded, her eyes shining with pride and determination. We won't stop until justice is served, Bobby, she vowed, her voice ringing out with conviction, no matter what it takes. And so, with a renewed sense of purpose burning bright in their hearts, Bobby and Annabel set their plan into motion, their minds sharp and their determination unyielding. Little did they know, their journey was far from over, and the challenges that lay ahead would test their resolve in ways they never could have imagined. As Bobby and Annabel's plan unfolded, the city streets buzzed with anticipation, their actions sending shockwaves through the fabric of society. With each passing day, their resolve grew stronger, their determination unyielding in the face of adversity. But their efforts did not go unnoticed, and soon, they found themselves confronted by the very forces they sought to defeat. As they stood on the precipice of a showdown that would determine their fate, Bobby and Annabel braced themselves for the battle that lay ahead. We can't let them intimidate us, Bobby, Annabel declared, her voice tinged with determination. We have to stand our ground and fight for what's right. Bobby nodded, his jaw set with determination. We won't back down, Annabel, he replied, his voice ringing out with conviction. No matter what happens, we'll face it together. As they approached the factory where it all began, Bobby's heart pounded in his chest, his mind racing with anticipation. The time had come to confront Mr. Smith and put an end to the injustice that had plagued them for so long. With a steely resolve, Bobby and Annabel entered the factory grounds, their footsteps echoing in the silence of the night. As they drew closer to Mr. Smith's office, a sense of tension hung heavy in the air, their hearts pounding in anticipation of the showdown that awaited them. And then, without warning, they found themselves face to face with their adversary, his eyes cold and unyielding as he regarded them with disdain. Well, 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 he sneered, his voice dripping with malice. If it isn't the dynamic duo come to save the day. Bobby met Mr. Smith's gaze with a steely resolve, his jaw set with determination. We're not here to play games, Mr. Smith, he declared firmly, his voice ringing out with conviction. We're here to put an end to your tyranny once and for all. Mr. Smith's lip curled into a cruel smirk, his eyes gleaming with malice. Is that so? He replied, his voice dripping with sarcasm. And just how do you plan to do that, Mr. Butcher? But Bobby was undeterred, his resolve unshakable in the face of adversity. With a sense of purpose burning bright in his heart, he reached into his pocket and withdrew the evidence that would seal Mr. Smith's fate once and for all. This is how, Bobby declared, his voice ringing out with triumph as he presented the evidence before Mr. Smith. With this, we can prove once and for all that you're the one behind all of this. As Bobby presented the damning evidence against Mr. Smith, the room fell into a stunned silence. The weight of truth hung heavy in the air, and it was clear that the tide had turned in Bobby and Annabel's favor. With a look of defeat etched across his face, Mr. Smith could only watch helplessly as his empire crumbled before him. In a swift and decisive move, the board of directors ousted him from his position, appointing Bobby as the new deputy director of the factory. The news sent shockwaves through the city, the streets buzzing with anticipation as word of Bobby's triumph spread like wildfire. With each passing moment, his reputation grew, his name becoming synonymous with justice and redemption. Amidst the celebrations, Bobby caught sight of Mr. Smith, who stood off to the side, his expression a mixture of defeat and resignation. Sensing an opportunity for closure, Bobby approached him, extending a hand in a gesture of goodwill. Mr. Smith, Bobby began, his voice tinged with sincerity. I want to thank you for teaching me the true meaning of resilience and perseverance. Despite our differences, I wish you nothing but the best in your future endeavors. Mr. Smith regarded Bobby with a mixture of surprise and begrudging respect, his hardened demeanor softening ever so slightly. 
You may have won this round, Butcher, he conceded grudgingly. But mark my words, this isn't the end. I'll be back, and when I am, you'll regret crossing me. Bobby met Mr. Smith's gaze with a steely resolve of his own, his determination unshakable in the face of adversity. We'll be ready, he declared firmly, his voice ringing out with conviction. But amidst the chaos and celebration, a quiet moment passed between Bobby and Annabel, their eyes meeting in a shared understanding. In that moment, they knew that their bond went beyond mere friendship, their hearts intertwined in a love that defied all odds. I couldn't have done it without you, Annabel, Bobby admitted, his voice soft with emotion as he reached for her hand. You've been my guiding light through it all. Annabel smiled, her eyes shining with love and affection. And you've shown me that there's still goodness in this world, Bobby, she replied, her voice filled with gratitude. I'll never forget what you've done for me. And as they stood there, hand in hand, Bobby and Annabel knew that their journey was far from over. Together, they would face whatever challenges lay ahead, their love and determination unyielding in the face of adversity. But little did they know their journey would take an unexpected turn, leading them down a path they never could have imagined. As Annabel set out to find her long-lost father, the truth she uncovered would shake them to their core. For her father was none other than the leader of the local mafia, his influence reaching far and wide. It was he who had orchestrated the bandit's offer to help Bobby at the factory, using his connections to manipulate the situation to his advantage. As the truth came to light, Bobby and Annabel found themselves facing their greatest challenge yet. But with their love as their guide, they knew that they could overcome anything that stood in their way. It's finally over, Bobby exclaimed, his voice ringing out with triumph as he turned to Annabel, a wide grin stretching across his features. Can you believe it, Annabel? We've done it. Annabel returned his smile, her eyes sparkling with pride and gratitude. Yes, we have, she replied, her voice filled with awe. And I couldn't have asked for a better partner in this journey. And so, hand in hand, they set out to confront the shadows of the past, their hearts filled with determination and hope. For they knew that together, they were unstoppable, their love a beacon of light in a world consumed by darkness.